Welcome, welcome to Storytime with me, here's Sheila. I hope you had a wonderful and beautiful day. Tonight, we're going to hear the speech from Dr. Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream. Yep, we're going to do that speech. And I'm glad it's in a book because it was a very important event, that march that took place in the 1960s, 1963, actually. And um, to get the people together to, like, fight for the rights for all people to have equal rights and to, to be treated properly. So I'm so grateful for his life. So let's read I Have a Dream. I say to you today, my friends, that even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. And he's like, um, this is the statue of Abraham Lincoln, one of the, um, the U.S.'s presidents. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out to the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truth, truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Very true. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. Yes. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And there's his beautiful children when they were little. They're all growing up now. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Yes. I'm so glad that this is like, yeah, they put it in, in a storybook for children to see because we want to remember what happened in the past so we do not let it repeat in the future. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. Wow, isn't that beautiful? This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Yes. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Look at what a view that Martin Luther King had that day. Wow. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we'll be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country is of thee, sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing, land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. Look at all the beautiful children. So let freedom ring from the hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening hills of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. And those beautiful pictures. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. For every mountainside, 
from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, we will allow freedom to ring when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Is that not an incredible speech? I so hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it inspires you to go and be your best self and go love on people and make a difference in this world. And remember, you make a difference just by being your own beautiful self. So keep shining your light bright. Until next time with me, Michilla. Take care. Bye.